This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus, and as you can see, I'm recording through my Elgato. Normally when you see me doing live commentaries over gameplay background, it's while I'm using my Elgato HD60 and the Elgato um, software to record. Now, I can't do this through OBS, which is what I normally use when I live stream because OBS takes up less, um, less processes to just put it shortly um your computer computer runs a lot more efficiently running the elgato through obs than it does through the software especially when it comes to live streaming but that may sort of kind of change that's the thing i don't know see this video has been inspired because while i was turning on my elgato software um what was i doing i was going to take a picture of a patch download that's what I was gonna do and I never got to taking that picture because I just opened up and started to install the Witcher 3 um, the patch was coming down and it was saying it's gonna take 80 minutes which at the time of this recording it is now finished because I got caught up in a whirlwind where I opened up the Elgato software and immediately they gave me a notification that you have software update 3.0 uh, 0117, whatever. The point of the matter is that they've taken me from the last 2.0 update that I had to 3.0, which has been in beta for a minute. And I refused to try because actually, I won't say that. I didn't refuse to try it. I tried the beta once and it fucking went nuts. And I realized, again, you don't fuck with Elgato betas. Um, Definitely, when an Elgato software is in beta, it is a, it, it's, it's a huge use at your own risk. I remember when I got into the 2.0 beta when I had the original Elgato HD um, game capture, and it was just a fucking nightmare. Um, same thing happened with this, HD60, original um, <laughs> 3.0 beta, fucking nightmare. Um, and I think it's partially because the new versions of Elgato seem to mostly cater to, I mean, the new versions of the Elgato software seems to mostly cater to the new Elgato that's coming out. And we just had the HD60 Pro release, an internal capture card, um, which is why when I, you know, I found it crazy, um, the response that my tweet got, because I snapped a picture of the updates and I was like, yo, Looks like Elgato's stepping the game up when it comes to the stream settings through the software. And my Twitter went nuts. I just got like a ton of retweets. People hitting me up, like debating about it. Well, they weren't necessarily hitting me straight up. But you know how people, when they see a tweet on their timeline, they respond to it as if they're having a conversation with you. Even though you weren't really trying to start that conversation with them. People telling me, oh, it's, you know, it ain't as good as OBS. Oh, uh, this is going to be great, blah, blah. It's like, people ask me questions, like, does it work with this? But I'm like, okay, um, I was just acknowledging the, the, uh, software update. I wasn't expecting that attention. And I appreciate, um, anybody who was talking directly to me and all the retweets. I really do. Um, nice to be noticed like that. But now I feel like I'm compelled to actually do, um, a real test of this. Um, I started playing around with it just a little bit while I was waiting for the patch to download. And the results that I got weren't that great. But at the same time, I wasn't prepared to like do anything really. So I wasn't really testing it at, um, I think, optimum level, so to speak. You know, I wasn't set up really to stream. I wasn't like going to stream at that moment. Um, so I just turned it on. It was just like fiddling around with a couple of settings. Like you see, I got this thing set at eight um, megabits per second. Normally, if I when I used the Elgato software to stream, I never did that because it would come out janky. But you notice at eight megabits per second, you get 1080p, 30 frames. Um, 
it looks like they're not going to do the 1080p 60 frames thing right now um then again maybe it's because i'm using the hd 60 and not the hd uh 60 pro that's the thing um with all those retweets i feel like i need to now look into this and investigate more to give more information because the information i can give you now is that um what they seem to have done with that patch is they're they're trying to make the encoding a lot better for the how now you can use nvidia gpu encoding so you can offload some of the um you know stress on the cpu or most of the stress or all of it onto your gpu so that's a benefit because that's something that um obs and xsplit has been able to do for a while um one of the thing about the elgato the way it runs it's a beautiful recording um device but even with the recording one of the biggest issues is how cpu intensive it is it definitely definitely requires you to have a um really good computer you know the minimum you're barely making it with their minimum specs you need to have something better than what they require that's just the way it is i remember when i first got the original elgato and i tried to use that with the like bottom basement specs it just wasn't working well i ended up having to get at least an i5 to feel comfortable with using it um flashback to today yeah they say uh, like um i5 is good for the hd60 but i you know i sometimes get slow down with my i7 and i got 16 gigabytes of ram and all of that now my video card is not the greatest in the world so this is where i'm going to probably have problems with testing this stuff but um it's above the minimum specs so we're gonna see i have a um gtx 650 which i sorely need to upgrade from i don't do much on my pc gaming wise so that's why i haven't been pressed but i really would like to at least bump up to a 780 sometime soon if not a 970 at the least uh so we'll see it where that goes but you know they just going briefly over the patch notes that came up um web page overlays easily add gifts videos and browser alerts curated scenes ready to go professional scene layouts for you to use i did look into that they do have some pre-made stuff for games like battlefront call of duty you know the more popular stream games they seem to have like default um stuff already pre-made for you to go to add into the system i wonder if i could um see some of that and i didn't mean to click that just open up um sony vegas but yeah they actually maybe they will let me show it if i go ahead and add get scenes uh let me see uh probably not we'll see if it comes through on the video um anyway too much about that uh care uh what um an exploit for, for like a long 64 bit gpu encoding like i said you can use that to off that you can now share and not if this something totally new graphic block now that it's out of beta we'll see just exactly what it's like and like i said i feel compelled now to actually utilize it more to just see because i did this with 2.0 just to see if it was worth it um and it wasn't for me in the streaming department is always good for just recording but streaming elgato has not been the thing as far as i'm concerned i've always felt like obs was the much better option and even in my brief like messing around with it i still have that opinion that obs is the best option but 
if I play around with this some more, tweak things some more, I may find that this is like good. At the least, I want to find out if this is something good enough for people who are just starting out, who just got an Elgato and just want to start streaming without having to learn um, different things. They just want everything in one spot to start off slow before they graduate to a more robust system. Um, because I don't think that Elgato's ever going to be that total one-stop shop as far as software and hardware. Hardware is very good, but I, you know, being someone who uses OBS, I am, you know, totally entrenched. I have all my stuff set it set up properly, so this probably ain't gonna pull me away because I'm already established with OBS. But if this can be something that can draw the newcomers to it, kind of how like um, Sony was able to take their streaming um, system, the PlayStation, the live from PlayStation, and make it a viable option for people to introduce themselves to streaming and get like their viewership rolling, then graduate to the other stuff. Gets you know as they progress through the whole thing, then yeah, um, I would definitely endorse it, but. We have to find out. We have to find out. And that's my thing. I have to find out. I can't just be like, yeah, this looks great and this is going to be awesome. Nah, I, I, I need to get enough information to get a real opinion. So that's what you could expect from me, hopefully by the end of the week. Anyway, sorry for the long video, but I just wanted to go talk on this just a little bit. Um, as always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'll hold you later. This is your boy, Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.